What's up guys, in this video I'm going to go over some recent CleanSpark news, we have some coverage to talk about by JP Morgan, and we also have some recent news regarding an exahash increase. So let's get started on this video, at the end I'll also look over the chart and a couple of patterns to watch out for. We're looking at either a breakout of a falling wedge, or a breakdown under a channel we've been riding on for quite some time now. But let's start this video, if you don't mind hitting the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, Definitely helps my channel out. Consider checking out the links down below for some stocks in crypto. And let's take a look at what's going on with CLSK. First off, let's go over this 4.4 exahash expansion. CleanSpark acquires 4.4 exahash of new Antminer S21 Bitcoin miners. And they expect to achieve a hash rate of over 20 exahash per second. And this will be all going on in the beginning of next year. Now these machines, which are the most efficient to hit the market, are expected to arrive in early 2024, January specifically. And once all these machines are deployed, CleanSpark's mining fleet is expected to average 23.5 joules per terahash, meaning even more efficient mining. Now that joules per terahash number is in combination of their current fleet and what they're expecting to achieve with this new set of miners, but these new set of miners themselves have an efficiency rating of 17.5 joules per terahash, which is nearly 20% more efficient than the XPs, which previously were the most efficient Bitcoin miner on the market. Now you don't necessarily need to know exactly what this joules per terahash number means. What it really means is that they're gonna mine Bitcoin even more efficiently. And as said by Zach Bradford, the CEO of CleanSpark, integrating the S21 into our mining operations is in line with our commitment to using the most efficient mining technology. The efficiency of the S21 should not only increase our capacity, but should also drive down energy costs per Bitcoin mined, enhancing our competitive edge within the global mining landscape. Importantly, our scale has positioned us with strong Bitcoin production at solid margins. And as a result, we expect to fund the majority of the purchase through operating cash flows. Last quarter, they reported a loss somewhere around 12 or $14 million. And as they continue to grow their revenue, this revenue growth will outpace these added expenses over time, needing more electricity as more machines come online, needing more employees as their sites grow bigger and bigger. Eventually, their revenue will outpace that and we will see profitable quarters. And I actually think throughout most of this coming Bitcoin bull run, we will see a lot of profitable quarters compared to last bull run where they saw like one profitable quarter at the very end, at the very peak of Bitcoin. Now getting back to these machines, the machines with deliveries set to begin in 2024 in January were purchased with favorable terms, including 20% seller-based financing of the total purchase price, which is 12.35 million or $2.80 per terahash. And this payment isn't due until a year after these Bitcoin miners have arrived. And once these machines are received, they should see a 17.25% improvement over their current above average operational efficiency of 28.4 joules per terahash, bringing them down with these machines to 23.5 joules per terahash, making them an even more efficient miner. And I'll leave CleanSpark's press release down below for you so you can look over it yourself. But I also wanna leave this article down below for you as well, titled Bitcoin Mining Industry is at a Crucible Moment by JP Morgan. And going down towards the bottom of this article, you can see here that JPM initiates coverage of CleanSpark with an overweight rating and a price target of 550. Meanwhile, they have Mara as underweight with a $5 price target, lower than their current price. Same with Riot, they have them as underweight with a 650 target, which is also lower than their current price. And Cypher Mining, one very overlooked mining stock, no one really talks about this one. I've had maybe one or two people actually mention it on my channel. They have that set at neutral. And interestingly, they mention Iris Energy, giving it an overweight rating as well, which is positive. And right in line with their outlook on these stocks, you know, seeing CleanSpark as an overweight with a higher price target than it's at, seeing Mara and Riot as underweight, giving them lower price targets than where they're at. They say CleanSpark is the bank's top pick, offering the best balance of scale, growth potential, power costs, and relative value. And the analyst said that Marathon is the largest mining operator but has the highest energy costs and lowest margins, plus a lot of debt. Meanwhile, Riot has relatively low power costs and liquidity, but is the most expensive stock in their coverage, meaning the highest valuation of the stocks that they cover. And as you guys might remember, if you watched my last video, I did say I just bought some Riot. It just came under $10, and I did decide to buy some Riot for the first time in a couple years. I do think in the coming Bitcoin bull run, a lot of Wall Street will flock to the safest Bitcoin miners, and Riot will be one of them. But we've definitely got a lot of positive news coming CleanSpark's way. JP Morgan is extremely bullish on this stock, much more than other Bitcoin miners. And CleanSpark continues to have projections for an increased hash rate, even more than we expect. They initially were expecting 16 exahash by the end of the year. However, due to the energy company, this will likely become 
fact in the beginning of 2024, along with this extra 4.4 exahash of mining. So within months, these guys will be pushing over 20 exahash per second. They are surely heading in that top spot for Bitcoin mining. But let me know what you guys think about CleanSpark. Are there other miners you're extremely bullish on? I know a lot of people like TerraWolf as well, BitFarms as well. And I do think a lot of these smaller Bitcoin miners that have a very attractive hash rate to market cap will do quite well in the coming bull market. But next up, let's look at what's going on on CleanSparks chart. It has been breaking down lately. And I'm still watching this pattern within a pattern. We're following this uptrend that's been established since last year in December. You can see the general direction has been up and to the right. However, after we hit our peak just a few months ago, right around $8, we have been pulling back quite hard since. And recently we've been creating this descending channel while also creating this descending wedge. Typically a descending wedge gets broken out to the upside. And I do think there's a possibility we see this Friday. And if we don't see a breakout of the descending wedge, it's very possible we break down and break our support we've seen ever since December, 2022. So I think it's extremely important to watch the chart for CleanSpark over the next couple days. I think we're gonna see a big move very soon. But let me know what you guys think about this recent news and where do you think we're going chart wise? Do you think we're gonna break our long-term trend that was established almost a year ago? Or do you think we're gonna bounce here, break out of this descending wedge and start finally pushing higher? It has been suppressed for a while and we are becoming a bit oversold. Thanks again for watching guys. I appreciate you and I'll catch you later.